Good evening and welcome to Aztez. My name is Woody Avarandis. This is a kind of a hybrid uh, strategy and beat em up game. Uh, we're doing these high level strategy game game play where we're trying to do, expand the Aztec Empire, managing um, what what kind of cities we're taking over, how we're expanding it, uh, and also managing some dissent among the people, happiness among the people. Uh, at the same time, all of the acquisition of new territory and that kind of thing, basically the way you interact with the world here, is through these real-time beat-em-up segments of the game here, where it's got this very cool, hardcore kind of combat that you'll uh, kind of get rewards based on how you do in those things. And we'll see that in just a moment in the campaign. Uh, this is available right now on Steam as of August 1st, as you're watching this. Uh, it is made by Team Colorblind, who has been in indie games for a long time, it looks like, based on their bio here. And they've been doing all kinds of different stuff. And uh, it's a very, very cool looking game, I gotta say. Very cool art style, kind of, uh, you know, monochromatic and the red just pops. It's it's, it's fantastic. So it, it looks really cool. I played a little bit of it to get the feel for the game because it is kind of a complex combat system. Definitely want to go through the training before you start a campaign with this, uh, which I have done and I'm still not really great at the brawling segments here. But let's get into a brand new campaign and see how this game goes. So I'm going to reset my campaign because I did start a little bit here just to see how that uh, that kind of strategy element of the game goes. I was familiar enough with the beat-em-up from the tutorial. Uh, we were in the Valley of Mexico, late 15th century. So this is pre-Spanish invasion. It's kind of the we're leading up to here. We're trying to, to defend our people against the invading uh, Spanish here um, and trying to defeat them. Uh, we do have to survive long enough, though, in order to get to that point. So we get a starting weapon here, and as you unlock to do playthroughs, you'll unlock new weapons to start with, which do change your playstyle a little bit here. So I'm gonna go with the sword, because that's all we have available here. We have Tenochtitlan. We have uh, Tlacopan. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna butcher a lot of these names here. And Tzoko, 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 um, it's, it's X is a Z, it's kind of tough to say. Tsukoko. I got it. I nailed it. Nailed it in one. Anyway, so this is kind of the strategy portion of the game here. We kind of choose what missions we want to go to. Actually, we'll actually go on all of these. But based on how we do in them, we'll get certain rewards. So, for instance, we have the missions uh, Subjugate, Security Contract, or uh, Bounty Hunt. We get five resources. Here we get, uh, we get the city joins the empire, and here we get uh, some more resources. I believe we can do all of these in this turn, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I think, I, I mean, I have done more than one event in a single turn here in the past, so we'll find out what kind of criteria that involves. But basically, looking at an event here, let's, we're going to go with this one because this requires a city here. Um, we can get a bonus if we complete the objective there. If we defeat all the enemies in three minutes, we get the city. And if we lose in combat, an Aztez dies. And Aztez is kind of uh, our avatar here. Um, we're going to deploy. There's also loadout you can choose. You can choose different weapons, different gods, which have different powers with them. Kind of just change some cosmetics about your character as you unlock new things. We don't have anything unlocked right now because it's a brand new playthrough here. So we're just going to go with our sword and see how this goes as far as the uh, brawling beat em up here. So this has a lot of interesting controls. We can dash. I'm going to waste a lot of time here. That's the problem if you go too tough, though. Um, but mostly you'll be brawling and smashing guys. We have a heavy hit, we got a light hit, we got a lot of different dashing and blocking maneuvers, grabbing guys. This guy's gonna attack me from behind, so I'm trying to avoid him. Now, the game wants me to do two sacrifices. Oop, I didn't do either one of them. We'll get to a sacrifice next time. It's not that tough of a, tough of a thing to do. Um, we just gotta get knock guys down enough to do it. So we got three kills, survived 30 seconds. Like I said, we had time to waste on that to explain some of the things here. So yeah, we have kind of a dash move. We have a regular attack. We have a heavy attack. We got jumping move maneuvers. We can aim guys up and down and kind of just tie together these huge combos. Kind of reminiscent of something like De Devil May Cry or something like that, or God of War or something like that. Um, kind of interesting. So we get uh, Iskapolapa. Nailed it, nailed it, and uh, <laughs> um, so that's it. Oh no, we can we can go do these other events too. Okay, so we can we can definitely do these other things uh, before we end the turn. So let's definitely check out some of these here. Get some more resources. A couple of guys here. Um, perform one god attack. Hopefully we can get to that. Oh, um, let's view the mission. Oh, we can only do one. Okay, is that the deal? Yeah, it looks like we only could do one in this situation here. That's okay. Looks like, yeah, it looks like just one, though. 
All right, so let's end the turn then. You want to do as many as you can, basically. All right, so we have a blue mission here. Event Festival of Fertility. Every blood vial filled, you get plus one to the population. And uh, over here, we get Subjugate. Uh, we get to force the city to join us. So we're going to try this one here. If we defeat it in less than 60 seconds, we'll get a common item. And if we lose, obviously we lose our Aztez. Um, but we'll get uh, Koyokan, Koyokan to join the Empire. And we have six guys to defeat this time around. 60 seconds might be pushing it. We'll see what happens here. Looks like they're low level enemies though. I'm going to try to get to this side of the room here. Avoid them getting on each side of me here. And I'm just going to kind of just smack them backwards here. Smash them all together here. And as guys go like that. This is, this is the phase where we can grab and do a sacrifice too. And what we can do then is when we get plush blood in the ground, we can suck it all up like this. And the thing on the top right there is filling up a uh, god meter, basically. Let's us do a super powerful move whenever we get it filled. I'm gonna sacrifice one more guy here. And spray that beautiful red goop everywhere. So, 30 seconds only for that one, so we got the bonus. And we got a common item. So, continue. Koyokan. Koyokan joins the Empire, and we can choose between these two cards here. So, it grants a free Aztez when used. Um, we get a young, new Aztez that is immediately ready for deployment. So, basically, when you have an Az extra Aztez, that's how we can do more than one mission, I'm fairly certain. I think that's how it works. And we have a stone obelisk, creates target city uh, increases by one. I'm going to take the extra Aztez so we can do more per turn, I believe is how it works. Um, and we got the young conscript. Impressed by the growth of the empire, the promising young warrior pledges to, is their life to Tenochtitlan. Awesome. And that's said immediately, so we should be able to do a second thing here. Looks like we can, yes we can. Um, so, we have to receive a cosmetic set reward if we get 10,000 plus points. I think on the previous one we did get that many points. Uh, so we'll try to do that if we can. Um, every blood vial filled plus one population. So here we're trying to collect as much blood as possible. Uh, beating guys up. There's a lot of variety here. Holy cow. This could be a very dangerous place to go. You lose combat or time up. Uh, we just gotta make sure we don't die is the key here. So, let's get into it here. As I said before, I'm going to try to get them on each side of me here. And I'm going to try to get this guy up in there, maybe. Get a combo going. This guy's got a shield on. Ooh, he got me with that one. Ooh, not... I was able to do a little... Little hop over him. I gotta get... I gotta deck below this guy if I can. Ooh, they're attacking from behind here. Like I said, this is gonna be a tough one. Oh, God, this is bad. All right, we gotta be careful here. Getting on each side of me is not great. Ooh. There we go. We have to fill these blood vials too here. We can get some serious dash jumps going too if we can. Ooh, okay. Might be kind of trouble here. Ooh, nice. Oh god, he's smashed me a little bit there. I want to get this guy killed if I can. Oh, he got me. All right, so we didn't get a single blood vial filled there, unfortunately. This was a little tougher one. There was a lot of variety in that one. Luckily, it's a festival, so it's not a huge deal if we lose those ones. Um, we don't lose an Aztez. Uh, we can continue on then. So, zero plus population. It's okay. Festival complete. The city doesn't lose control or anything like that. We have one more mission down here. 
which we cannot do. So I was right about that. If we lose our, if we have an Aztez, then we can do more than one thing at a time. And up at the top left, it tells us how many Aztez we have. That's the difference. Okay, cool. So uh, let's get into the next turn here. Turn complete. Uh, descent begins. Oh, so this is the other thing too. Drought occurs. Okay, so. Drought is probably going to increase descent among our people. We have a couple of events over here. Uh, I didn't have a get, I haven't gotten to inventory yet and how that works here. So let's take a look at that right now because it might be useful. Now, drought I have not experienced before. Um, but what we can also do here is we can activate agents on our behalf. So we can play, uh, for instance, a character here that will allow us to turn a neutral city into an empire city or uh, reduce descent into a neutral, turn descent into a neutral city. Um, and we have plenty of things to do that. So we could definitely do that right now. We're gonna acquire a random item and then spend 10 resource points to prevent an Empire City from ever descending. Also very good for controlling everything. But uh, what we can do, if we really wanted to turn this descending city into a neut neutral city, we would use that thing. And every time we use one of these, the cost for it goes up. So we have, let's take a look here quick. Common item, common item. Over here we have resources up. And over here we have uh, spy network is destroyed. We get if we get fifty thousand points, we get a common item, and we do have an item in our inventory, right? We got a free Aztec, and we got the smoking mirror used to raise early game difficulty to that of the mid game. Interesting. Um, and then we have the uh, huh? Now how do we activate that? Oh no, it's it's just already on. Okay, it's already active. Okay, so let's get into security contract for some resources. We have two choices here of what we can do next. So we gotta kinda of choose what we wanna do here. Destroy the spy network, get a common item if we get 50,000. Um, and destroy them before we have a chance to escape to our city. So this will kinda of prevent them from uh, sowing more dissent among our, our city here. Now they have a lot of hard guys here, a shielded warrior and four of those little floating guys there. Over here it is a uh, six of the regular shield guys. Over here, it is uh, five, six of the other guys here. So let's hopefully, let's do the spy network here. This sounds interesting. Those floating guys will be a bit of a problem, but hopefully we can get around it. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a real problem, actually. They teleport away. Now the red moves I can't block. Ooh, I am able to block, even though I don't do it very often. Oh God, it's not going great. I just got these these guys to worry about. Slam him down to the ground. Get away from that guy. Try this and see if we get enough points. Nope, not quite. Almost enough points. If I had one more sacrifice, we would have been fine on that one. We got the bonus, but that's all right. We did get the job done. And that's the important part. All right, spy network, network is destroyed. That'll hopefully prevent a little more dissent among our people here. Over here, we can get uh, uncommon item. Over here, we get uh, some more resources. I think we're going to need some more resources here, so let's do this. All right, so here we go. Let's get to this side of these guys if we can. We got these guys with the sacrifice if we can. Two sacrifices. Now we have to perform one counter here. So we have to let a guy attack us and do a counter. Have to block it first. Let's try if we can see if we can get this to happen. Come at me. Nope, didn't block it in time. Wasn't a counter. There we go. There we go. That's all it takes. Now, the countering is definitely going to be a problem later in the game. I have not gotten, quite gotten the hang of that a, a whole lot just yet. But, um... Basically, you hit the rest. You have to hit the right trigger at the exact moment they're about to attack, and uh, about to hit you. And uh, 
then you can do a counter. There's a couple moves you can do with the counter here, too. So we have this. We can't actually do it because we don't have another Aztez. Uh, we'll have to address that later. Now, we can actually spend some of our inventory, though, and maybe get the city under control here. Let's take a look here quick. So if we spend eight, we get uh, a neutral city into an empire city. And then if we get this one, we can turn a dissenting city into a neutral city for eight. We have 35, so it might be worthwhile to spend some of this money on some of these places here and get ourselves some new things. Uh, we can only get to a city that's already connected. So it depends on where we want to build up here. I think building up next to uh, Tlaxalan, the capital, might be a good idea. Uh, so we're going to get um, them to join the city. I'm going to turn these guys neutral and see if we can... Uh, Oh, because they're not, they're not, um... Oh, this is, this is prevent them from ever descending. Can just prevent this, uh, assassin. Can send this assassin to Ekapetek. Uh... And... Turn it neutral. Descent eliminated. That's how we do it. Alright, so we have 19 resources to spend. Um, looking pretty, pretty good shape here. Let's end the turn and end this, this miserable drought, hopefully. Turn complete. All right, so now we got our two Aztecs back. We get extra points for having more cities now. There is a spot over here. Emergency Disgracing the Sun God. What's this one here? Darkness Prevented. Cultists of Tlaloc are occupying the temple of... Oh, God. Uh, Hiti... Huitzilopictli. Oh, God. Um, and threatening to reclaim it in, in Tlaloc's name. Uh, Tlaloc's name. Cut them down before they, they, the god abandons us. Um, defeat all enemies. Darkness prevented. Uncommon. En con the six of those guys is going to be tough, man. Oh, man. Uh, we have the training program here. Get plus one as because that's a good thing to do. Yeah, we'll definitely want to do that one here. Uh, resources not stolen. That's probably a good one to do. So we have... Okay, so if we do this one, we get three as tests then. If we win this one. So let's do this one first and we can do all three of them. Okay, let's do this. Uh, and then that'll probably be the last turn for this episode all right we got these guys here first i'm gonna try to take care of these guys uh, big guys here if i can right away because they're a big problem oh smash them up sacrifice now we didn't get the bonus for the uh combos oh no we did get it we got a 16 to combo oh no it was yeah 22 there we go so we got the bonus achieved there and uh what did we get for the bonus there common item awesome continue on pick our common item got an extra as test add it to the, the the uh barracks uh eliminates one of your as in exchange for 21 resources i don't want to do that necessarily and eliminates the target event at a cost of three resources okay um, that might not be a bad thing if we want to get rid of a target event. It, like a certain event is bad for us or doesn't doesn't seem like it's going to be a good idea. So let's get rid of that one. I think I'd rather do that than waste an Aztez on resources. So emergency and emergency over here. So we have to do all both of these to prevent the bad and stuff from happening. If we don't do it, then it will happen. So here we lose an Aztez. If we die here, we lose three resources. If we lead, lead, defeat all enemies, we don't lose any resources. Shouldn't be too bad, I think. Let's deploy. Get into it here. All right, here we go. Spear guys will be a little bit of a problem here. Yeah, they do, they do that little jumping move. This kind of kind of brawler guys here. This guy's below us here right now. I can smash it on him. Oh, I didn't get that guy in time. We're not gonna get. Uh, good combo here. Good, good score here if we can't do combos. Broke my combo. There we go. Almost got enough. If this guy goes, goes red here. There we go. I should have done the I should have done the sacrifice on him. I probably would have had enough. 
I haven't even done a god move yet. Forgot about that. Gotta do that. So, we get resources not stolen. We didn't get the 50,000, so we don't get a common item. And resources not stolen. Alright, so now we have to head over here to, to uh, defend our uh, sun god. Um, it's gonna be a tough one. These guys are pretty tough. Uh, we can do it, though. I think we can do it. Let's get into it here. Alright, we got three of these flyer guys here. Let's get them, get some room there, breathing room over there. Now, we can see that if I do up and Y, I get a little bit different arc than if I do uh, up and X. Up and X is kind of straight up. Oh, I wanted to dash off the wall here. There we go. Oh, we got a chance for some... I don't know if we can fill this up per round here or not, but we didn't get... We got... We got uh... Is there a guy left here still? Oh, you guys. You're hiding on me. Bonus failed. I thought you are done. I did send them off to the other side there before to give myself some room, though. Kind of forgot about them over there. All right, so 56. Not our best effort. We could have gotten it. Remember, those guys were over there. But um, overall, we did pretty good. We still prevented the darkness. Kept all of our uh, Aztecs intact. Uh, very cool. So I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here because we're running a little bit long now. Thank you guys so much for checking out this game. If you did enjoy it, let me know what you think down in the comments below. There will be a link in the, in the description to check out the game on Steam as well. Uh, and I'll bring this back for a few more episodes. Hopefully finish out the campaign uh, very, very soon in a few episodes here. So thank you again so much for joining me. And I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.